Now, I want to tell you something, darling. Just because I lived for a few weeks does not mean you neglect your sweet, precious, beautiful eyebrows. I am 100% sure you developed those really beautiful eyebrows from your auntie. I missed you too. I mean, I miss my sweet darling more than I miss my own house, more than I miss my own sweet tea. I miss my sweet baby. Give me a hug. Oh, thank you so much for holding everything down while I was gone. But I see it took a toll on your self care Sundays. So I got something for you. Mm-hmm. You know what this is? Of course you know what this is. You've been through my stuff while I was gone, weren't you? It's alright. So what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do your eyebrows for you. And let you know about my trip. Tell you how everything was while I was gone. Okay, well, I just need for you to relax. I'm going to adjust your head just a little bit so I can get you at a really good angle. That's good. Oh, how I miss that sweet face so much. Yeah, I would kiss you, but I don't know where your face is being. Oh, you know exactly what I mean. Hopefully you ain't have nobody up in my house while I was gone. That was one of my big rules, okay? Don't have nobody in here while I'm gone. So let's see. Well, first things first, let me clean your face because it's a lot of nasty germs flowing around. So I have this here, and what it's gonna do is just gonna clean anything that might be in the hairs of your eyebrows. And I'll clean the other one. All right, so now, let's get started. I'm just gonna take my little comb right here and brush your eyebrows upwards and straight just so I can see exactly what it is that I'm working with how much hair you've let grown out of your eyebrows but yeah I had to go up north to see my other sister your other auntie she got a little sick and she needed some of that southern auntie loving because Everybody from up north, they aren't really familiar with home remedies and just really good home care. They used to send you to the doctor and family, not really as close as we are down here in the south. All right, sugar, so now what I'm going to do. I'm gonna cut your eyebrows just to make them a little shorter. I'm gonna be very gentle, okay? So just don't move. But yeah, family up north is not the same as it is down south. So I had to go up there, make her some of my cooking. Tell her some of my jokes to make her laugh. Water her plants for her. You know. Things that sisters do for each other that we really didn't plan on doing for each other when we was younger because she was not my favorite sister. But we gonna keep that between me and you. So you got you a little unibrow now. 
So I'm going to take these little tweezers. You don't have nothing too wild going on. So I'm going to take these little tweezers right here. And I'm going to pluck your little unibrow out, okay? It's not going to hurt at all. Southern Auntie is very gentle with you, okay? So yeah, I had to make a lot of healthy dishes for her. Things with a lot of vegetables because she wasn't eating a lot of her vegetables and I think that's why she got sick. She's eating a lot of meat and bread. No green vegetables. No white vegetables, just nothing. So, we strengthened up her immune system, got her a lot of vitamin C in her system. And now she's as healthy as a horse. So, as soon as I got the okay, that she was okay, I packed my bags and headed right back down here to my own home because... I miss being home so bad. I'm going to take these big tweezers right here and get those longer hairs, okay? Yes, that's what I love doing. I love taking care of other people. You see, I got home. Yeah, I had me some time to myself to unpack and unwind, but I was really dedicated to my sweet darling. Cause see, eyebrows needed some work. I was so ready to get back home and use my own stove. She had an electric stove up there. You know, down here we have gas stoves. So I really couldn't get in the kitchen the way that I wanted to get in the kitchen. You know? So here we got this little razor. And I'm just going to take it and line your eyebrows just a little bit. Okay? Only a little. Okay. And do the underside. Okay, let's do this side. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is take this little eyebrow pencil. You never use black. You always want to use dark brown, okay? You're gonna take it and I'm just gonna fill in the top portion. Just in the beginning right here of your eyebrow, okay? So now what I'm going to do is just to remove that excess hair, I'm going to just wipe the end of your eyebrow, just the tail of your eyebrow to get the extra hair off. Now, your eyebrows look perfect. They look very identical to mine. Are you going anywhere tonight? Well, you know what? I actually got... I actually got into a lot of the eyelashes while I was up there. And I picked some up for you, so... I got really good with putting them on. I could put these on for you if you have somewhere to go tonight. Yep, I learned it's different eyelashes for different occasions. And really, that's all you need. Just
just a pair of eyelashes and that'll be like a full face of makeup. Well, we can just put you on some real casual eyelashes. How about that? Okay. So I picked you out a pair. Not too thick, but not too thin either because if you're going to put on thin eyelashes, then what was the point of you putting on eyelashes, you know? And I also got some eyelash glue. Don't want to put any hair glue on your eyelashes because then it'll rip off your natural eyelashes. And we got naturally pretty eyelashes, but it's nothing wrong with enhancing your natural beauty. It's nothing wrong with that at all. So you take this hair glue and put it on the lash. You blow it out, and then you stick it on, and you let it dry. Okay, and here come your other eyelash. Sometimes you gotta pull off that extra film. Put on more glue. And here you go. And you stick it onto your eye. And then you just press it. Okay, now just blink your eyes a few times for me. I want to make sure that they are on there really good because I don't want that black band showing on my baby's eyes. And what I like to do, just for added effect, I like to give them a little curl. There you go. And you are ready to go. Where'd you say you were going again, darling? Oh, to the grocery store. Well, but I just glammed you right on up. Bitch, coming right back, right? Okay, so while you're there, I'm gonna need for you to do me a favor. Grab me three bell peppers, an onion, and a pound of chicken breast, okay? Yes, I'm gonna make me and your favorite dinner tonight. So hurry back, okay? I missed you so much. Bye.